I am here because I wanted to make a video, a step-by-step -step video on how to fill up your dependent visa going to UK. So let's start with the partner visa. Well, if it's a fiancé visa, I don't know how it goes. But if a married, uncomplicated setting of dependent visa, that's all I can do because that's what I had experience. So let's go through to where or what website. The link, I will provide it in my description box. Click on the partner dependent visa and click next. So enter the country in which you are making your application and wish to provide your biometrics. So it depends on your case. In my case, my family is in the Philippines, so I put it in Philippines. But there are other cases like Dubai, Saudi, or whichever country. So you just put it in there. So next, check available biometric enrollment locations. So it depends also for me in the Philippines, there's only Manila and Cebu. But I am from Visayas, but I chose the Manila one because um, the TBIOM is also in Manila. So one trip, less expenses. So I have checked available biometric enrollment locations. So next, dependent partner visa, blah, 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 blah. And then drop down, you do it, apply now. Enter an email address and password so you can save your answers. You will then be emailed a unique link to let you log back into your application at a later point. Well, for me, I can access my husband's email anyway, so I entered just his email. But if it's okay also if you will just enter your own email if you are the one who is, uh, who is applying for your dependent partner visa. It's up to you. So just create whatever password you want. What is the name of the person? you will travel to UK with or join in the UK. So for some, they will travel at the same time with their sponsor and also with their dependent. But in my case, I put in myself because I'm the sponsor and my family just followed me here after seven months. So just put in the sponsor's name. Save and continue. What is Felina Joyce Kapuso's country of nationality? So what is my nationality? Of course, I'm Filipina, sponsor's date of birth. Do you know Felina or the sponsor's passport or travel document number? Which is yes, because I know you will have that. When are you and Felina Kapuso traveling to the UK? So it's now it depends again on your situation. I'm traveling after for me because they just travel later than I. Which visa is Felina Kapusa applying for or been granted? So this is where you would look in to the COS of the sponsor, which is I am in skilled worker visa. My COS is now under skilled worker visa. So you have to check the sponsor COS if what is it indicated in there. So mine is a skilled worker visa. So do you have any reference number for that? So I have provided my VAF number. It's up to you. You can have the GWF number or VAF number, but I quite find it easy for me to have the VAF number. This VAF number is located in your net in the passport of the sponsor it is in the right upper hand just under the valid until so just type in that one alina joyce couples who have their skilled worker visa immigration permission yes i already have next is license number so sponsorship license number you can find this in your cos again on your sponsor cos and it says sponsor license number so 
it's um, usually in the first line on your certificate of sponsorship status. So just type in that number. Next, what is the standard occupational classification code for your sponsor? So since I am a nurse, you can also Google this one. But as a nurse, our classification code is 2231. Has the sponsor or me been informed they are eligible for well, for a health care health and care visa yes i am eligible for that i confirm i have checked the eligibility is felina work in shorted occupation so as nurses tick yes do you have a cos reference number of your sponsor so yes of course your sponsor should have that number and it is labeled a certificate number in your in the COS of your sponsor. So what is the length of my COS? So in my COS, it is just labeled as three years. I will just put in three years or less. Has Felina sponsor agreed to certify your maintenance on their certificate of sponsorship? Which is yes. You can find this, you can recheck your sponsor COS. It is located somehow at the last bits that says tick to certify maintenance for migrant and dependents if applicable. And it would put a Y on this as yes. If the case, the answer is no, well, I don't know how the process will go. I haven't had any experience. So it will tell you and uh, let you check your answers at the end of the of that step one because there are six steps. So we are just in st step one. So whatever it is in there, then just continue. Next would be, we may use your email to contact you about your application. So who does this email address belong to? So it says you, because in my case, I pretended to be my husband. Only when the uh, in the child's visa would I put someone else because I'm the mother. So I am doing everything for my daughter. But for my husband, you can just pretend as an adult to be your husband as well. But it's up to you, your decision, your discretion, okay? Do you have another email address? To make it not complicated, I just tick no. So the next one is, as we may contact you by telephone, blah, 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 blah. So you just answer all those bits. These are all just a series of simple questions. In this part, this is now the dependence information. It should be exactly the same as what it is written in the birth certificate and in the passport. All right, next question is easy to answer. So let's jump into where it will be complicated because you can just fill in this one. So the address that I have provided is where we have lived in the Philippines because of course my husband was still there at the time. So just type in everything in there. Do you have a valid national identity card? I just take no. So put in country of nationality, country of birth, place of birth, date of birth. You can all just take in in that. Do you currently hold or have you ever held or any other nationality or citizenship? Answer would be no, of course, unless in your case it is a yes which I don't know what will happen if the answer would be a yes. Is your relationship to the sponsor, me? In my case, it's married. Have you previously provided evidence of your marriage or civil partnership to Felina in a successful application as dependent? Well, if this is your first case, 
or this is your first application, you would say no. But if this has been like a series of applications already, so of course you take the yes. Are you still are you still in a relationship with your sponsor? Shipre naman. But of course, it's a yes. Date you plan to arrive in the UK. So this is all up to you. What I suggest, if you have a goal that you want to be as early as this, just put in that date. Because your visa, your VigNet, your visa validity would also fall in that date. So if you said, um, next week I want to be in the UK, it's fine. It's really fine, but they will just adjust it also. But at least you would be sure that your uh, if your visa has been approved, that would be valid somehow on that date. Rather than what I have experienced, I have delayed it, and then I have that. And then when our visa has been approved, and all I have that urge to let them fly earlier. However, it's too late. I've already put in a later date. So what we did was just wait and wait. So if if you are really that desperate, put in an earlier date. And 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 if that's not possible for them to send your visa by then, by that time, they will just adjust the date of the validity of the visa. This bit is for your sponsor's information. So put in your sponsor's name, date of birth. So do they currently live with you? In my case, no, because I've already been here. So I put in my current address when we were applying the visa. Will they be traveling with you to the UK? Of course, no, because I've been here for quite months already. Does anyone rely on you for financial support? This includes those who's traveling with you and those who are not. Well, we only have one daughter, so my partner, my dependent, we decided to take yes. We don't we don't know how it goes for no children but have dependents or have old age parents that needs to be taken care of or that relies on your partners or dependent partners financial support so i have no idea with that as i said this is a non-complicated dependent visa application so we said yes you should use your dependent's passport if they have one to complete this section what is the person's relationship to you so for my husband's case it is my daughter in that last bit it uh says will it be traveling with you or not so some cases they don't travel with their child or children first so you just take no but in my case they travel together so i take yes so you just put in their date of birth and then their um passport number and those bits so it questions you again if you have any other people who need your financial support but for us it's a no give details about two of your parents so this is the parents details of your dependent partner applicant type in everything in there you already know those information the next question is do you have any family in the uk apart from felina choice or apart from your sponsor which is again in our case no will you be traveling to the uk as part of an organized group our answer is a no will you be traveling to the uk with someone who is not your partner spouse or dependent which is no for us do you know where you will be staying in the uk this is what the questions of most of the people we take a yes in that some issues are saying that 
we haven't rented a property that fits our family yet. My wife or my husband is still sharing with a workmate and things like that. It doesn't matter because it didn't matter to us. What we provided is the latest and the current, despite the situation, address of the sponsor, which is my address. At that time, I am just renting in a flat that has three occupants. So it will never accommodate my husband and my daughter because it's not allowed. But still, we put in that address. So you can just put in that address. So you need to have a plan that before they arrive, before the date that you want your family to arrive, you already have a settled house. Will you be staying anywhere else in the UK? I take no. Have you been in the UK in the last past 10 years? So, okay, let's just go on with that because you know all those questions. Have you reviewed the guidance of professions that require an overseas criminal record check? We answered a yes in that. Let's enter all countries that have been present in the total of 12 months or more. The answer is Philippines. Can you provide criminal record certificate for this country? The answer is a yes. Have you been present in any other country for 12 months or more in the past 10 years? So you can answer that. The next question, you can just answer the next question. Were you related to Felina Joyce Capulso before you became partners? Just say no. So employment history, so they will just ask you these employment things. So I have not worked in any of these jobs because my partner hasn't worked any of those jobs. But you take whatever that applies to you, okay? This bit that says additional information about your application. This is where you explain your house situation i just said i just explained that with regards to the address i provided to where i will be staying in the uk my family and i will surely be securing a flat or house near my wife's workplace once my visa is approved since she is still sharing a flat with her workmates i will as well indicate the new and final proper address of our flat or house in the locator form when i will be on my way to the uk so this locator form i don't know if they are still having this because i think they had this locator form when covid came so i'm not so sure but that time again i told you they uh, they flew in here still pandemic time how early can i apply dependent visa or how early can i get my family my answer would be, it depends on your budget. If you have lots of money, if money is not an issue, you can even bring them together with you. But also, it depends on your trust if they allow a family with you. And also, if you have like a relative or a friend, a best friend that is very willing to find you a property when you arrive in the UK. So it all depends. But if you have all the money, it's no problem. For those people who are really struggling, who are trying their best to save money, it's quite difficult. Especially in my time, I have to pay the quarantine, hotel quarantine fee. So that's why it took them seven months to be with me here in the UK. But I have helped friends and family with the visa application, they've been approved, they've been given visa in just a month or just two months after they arrived in the UK because money is not their issue. As long as you have money, you can bring them ASAP. No worries. So next, again, it will show you all those things that you have written in and just continue. Documents are mandatory, you must provide them as your part application, tick the box to agree that you will provide each document. So just tick everything that is applicable. For everyone that is from the Philippines should have a TBIOM certificate. So that is only in Manila. There's no other TBIOM accredited center outside Makati, Manila. 
So again, I pretended to be the dependent. So my answer is this, I am the applicant, age 18 and over. Children, as I am the parent or legal guardian of the applicant who is age under 18 and completing its ability form on their behalf. I accept the above. Because I don't want to complicate all of the things if I would take, I am submitting the form on behalf of the applicant. I mean, you could communicate with your partner anyway. So I confirm, continue. Once you continue, it will ask you for your BRP. So this BRP ID, very important for us who are in the UK, those are, that are not citizens of the UK. The NI number behind that is really very important. There are other documents that really ask you for NI number. And that is really your proof that you can stay in the UK legally. Okay, so very important. So if you need biometric residence permit in the UK, where do you want to collect it from? So in us, I, I told them to collect from a UK post office that is very near or that is nearest to where I am assigned or to where we are living or to where we are located. The next question would be to pay. Select a service from the options below. So there is no other options actually. So save and continue. That's it. So that's the end of putting all the application. The total and it would say your name and the type of application that you are applying and the amount. So when I click in the continue to world pay, it will really take you to where you would pay but it will alert you to make sure that all the information are correct because that means you cannot change anything and that will be difficult if you would change so make sure for me i am very um anxious and all because it was just me who are who are doing all these i would just search in the facebook um the facebook dependent visa thing for clues shout out to san navarrete as well because she was also the one who helped me for those questions i cannot answer for those questions that made me question like what what should i put in this and that, and things like that so she was really very patient to me i mean we're not friends we're not relatives we're just i just messaged her in facebook but of course, um, thank you. Thank you, Ate, so much. All those difficult questions. By the way, thank you for your help because my husband and my daughter is already here. She's very active and very helpful. I think she's still there um, answering and helping people. So, laban Ate, go, go, go para sa kababayans. <laughs> So that's it. I do may year 2022 be a good year to you as well, to all of us. So I hope I have helped you well. So this is just a dependent visa of your partner. Somehow the child's visa, dependent visa, is somehow the same. But there are just bits and pieces of like who is the legal guardian and things like that. It's all somehow the same. But if you are still confused and all just tell me if you wanted me to make another detailed step-by-step -step video tutorial <laughs> i don't know what is this i don't know what to call this video i'm just trying to do this video because there are a lot of friends there are families who are asking me and sometimes i don't have the time to sit with them to to respond to them and i know that feeling but that when you are already in that moment and you want to fill in the application you want a, a direct answer or like you want you, you want an answer now because you want to finish it now so which sometimes i fail i fail to do because I also have a kid to take care of during day off and then I also go to work and things like that. So this video is basically for those people that is 
going to ask me this and that, I will just send this to them so that they wouldn't need to wait for me during my free time to guide them. And so if you ha I have helped you as well in this video, do share, give some comments and like it. Somehow it would help me as well. Thank you so much. All the best. It's Felina Caposa. Bye. Happy New Year, everyone. And see you all in the UK.